I think that it's unacceptable for us to say in the 21st century, oh, I'm not a techie, I don't understand technology, oh, I don't know how electronics work. Technology is a medium to be creative with and to be inventive with and not just something to be consumed. Magnets have kind of this feeling of magic with them and this sound that is very special. I love that click. Little Bits is a library of electronics that snap together with magnets for invention and for learning. It's a system of these modular electronic bricks that allow you to invent anything without having any background in engineering, no soldering, no wiring, no programming. There's a color code. Blue is power, pink is input, green is output, and orange is wire. And the rules basically are that you always need a blue and a green, and pink and orange are optional in between. Here we have a bunch of little bits. We have a power bit and we're gonna snap it to a light. I can then put a pressure sensor in between. Now I've made a pressure sensitive light. If I replace the light with a number, I can visualize how much pressure I'm applying. We've seen all sorts of really incredible things from a simple line following robot to a big Lego machine that is replicating artwork from one place to the next using light sensitivity. This is always a crowd favorite. It's called the Kitar. It has a keyboard, it has an oscillator, and it has all these dials to modify the sound and make your own guitar. There's a huge amount of power that comes from combining engineering and creativity together. When kids grow up using little bits, when designers are exposed to little bits, when entrepreneurs are able to prototype their ideas with little bits, they start to see that their ideas are possible. Hardware should be something that is empowering and that is fueling the next generation and next wave of innovation not something that we just accept parachuted from larger companies.